on to the golden feather. Grab a pint, a plate, and pick your seats. Your host, Vertex, and Chibi Bree are back from their latest adventure. <laughs> Oh my word i just love that welcome in <laughs> um i am back with the one the only cabal vt welcome in cabal <laughs> thank you very much Bree. it's been a dreadful delight to be invited back <laughs> oh. i would say is our terrifying pleasure or nah i'm not so great at those i'll leave that stuff to you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nithdern. Nith, Nith, Nithdern. Welcome in, Nithdern. Welcome. And Demon Queen Vivi, hello, hello. Welcome into the tavern as well. Um, we are talking today about Ashes of Creation. Um, this is what we usually talk about. This is a Golden Feather Tavern. Uh, pretty much our idea is about community. Cabal has that same mindset, which is one thing I love about Cabal. Um, <laughs> how do you never follow it? I feel ashamed. Oh no, it's all good. Don't don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Oh wow, <laughs> welcome in, people. Wow, I'm being overwhelmed a little. <laughs> um, hello, DJ. Hello, hello, Kui Chan. Welcome in. Um, so today is uh, talking about uh, creeping into alpha post that post alpha one kind of feeling. Uh, the game is no longer live, um, and yeah. So, uh, so a lot of the people here will know who you are, but uh, let's let's have you introduce yourself for maybe the golden feather people that regular that are regulars that may not know who you are <laughs> more than happy to i'll hit them with my sinister sales pitch okay. so for those of you who may not know who i am or just what i do allow me to go ahead and introduce my insidious self so my name is cabal or you call me cab and i'm your favorite frightening caffeinated cultist and Hooded Horror host. I'm a horror VTuber that specializes in all things spectacularly spooky to include menacing movies, terrifying TV shows, nightmarish novellas, sinister stories, chilling creepypastas, abominable art, and also talking about the terrifying topic of chilling content creation. I also specialize in playing a handful of horror games as well. And I'm also looking to maybe make my own menacing mark in the visceral world of Vera. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I know this cap nerd. I know, right? I don't know. I, I just saw a wandering cultist. I've uh, invited him into the tavern and here we are. <laughs> um, it's you true. To... She grabbed me by the scarf. <laughs> You have to forgive me, though. My co-host is uh, on vacation uh, forcefully, um, I tease, uh, after being with Vertec for a very long time. This man does not take a vacation, so I, I told him he <laughs> needs to go and enjoy his evening and not worry about the podcast, and I've, I've got this. I can do this. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. look, it's Cabal. Oh, I'm yeah. not, I'm not oh. bald. <laughs> ah, rude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you gotta love a good racing community. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it's been a very long time since we last had you on. I believe it was not in since like APOC, right? Uh, around, um, around then? I feel like it was a little bit after APOC, but it was oh, definitely, it, it was quite some time ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was definitely just getting started in my content creation journey back then. And I, actually, fun fact, yours was the first stream that I had the first live stream that I had ever been on. So Ooh. what a momentous occasion this is. Yay, I'm so happy. Um Tavern's about pestered with imps. I'm sorry. Uh, you'll have to ask the hired guard to take care of that. I, I just I just run the front. <laughs> 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 um but yeah, I, I'm really happy to hear about that because uh, I think the last time we had you on, we just had like a little picture for you, like a little icon. And you were not really sure what you were doing, but you were doing stuff within the YouTube space. Yes. Yeah. 
at that time, I was not live streaming. I was, um, I was just your regular old YouTuber. And I was making some Ashes content, but I was also doing, like, Minecraft and Seven Days to Die as well, like Let's Plays. And, you know, that was fun, but it wasn't really kind of what I'd wanted to do. I mean, mm. I did want to cover Ashes, but, you know, I wanted to add my own frightful flair to things, if you will. <laughs> Well, that's perfect. I was going to ask you, uh, so since then you've become a VTuber, um, which I think is amazing. I've sat in a few of your shows. It's very fun to enjoy. I actually, I, I hate terrifying things like Dead by Day Daylight and stuff like that, but I still have fun watching you. I like cringe sometimes. I'm like sitting back here going, oh, oh, oh man, oh no. <laughs> um, but it's still enjoyable to watch even as somebody who hates spooky, creepy, scary things. Um, but how has that had an effect, if any, on your plan to approach Ashes of Creation? Well, I will say this. Um, you know, j before I get into that, I just want to say I'm glad that you're still enjoying yourself. That's the whole purpose of a horror host. We make <laughs> the spooky fun. <laughs> yes. Yes. But uh, so the, the things that have kind of like changed in the way I'm looking at Ashes now is, uh, well, before I didn't really, I had a small community, but it was more of kind of like, you know, passive viewership on like mm -hmm. YouTube videos and stuff like that. Uh, now, with kind of like the more active stream community and the uh, the definitely more active, you know, we opened up, a, I've opened up a Discord since then. We recently just breached 400 members on that Discord. So... Yay. Congratulations. I'm so thank, happy to hear that. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So definitely the way that kind of changes things is I'm looking to do uh, things that are kind of more community oriented, I guess you could say, you know, like, you know, founding a guild and, you know, having community events and things like that, nice. which, you know, with the, the way the ashes is being set up to be very much a, you, uh, you kind of don't want to play this game alone. Yeah. Um, I think that's overall probably going to improve my experience. Um, I think it will also, you know, give a place for people who, are looking for kind of like more spooky things or like, you know, like the darker things. Like when we get into like the, um, uh, the others and we're looking at, uh, uh, what were they called? I forget. I always forget the name, the ancient ones. The ancient ones. Yes. Yeah. When we start to get to like, into like the law of the ancient ones, and maybe if there's a darker path to power when it comes to religions, um, I definitely think that, uh, myself and, you know, my community, we can definitely, uh, that would be something that we're interested in. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a bunch of cultists uh, worshiping the evil gods. Who would have even guessed? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was actually my next question for you. Did you have any ideas in terms of um, things you would like to do towards the, the spookier side? By the way, I just wanted to say uh, welcome in. Um, I, this, this it scrolled since a little bit. Uh, Kui Chan, <laughs> Mesra, welcome in. Uh, seven days to die for Cav is now seven days to die by his evil chat. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I may have partaken in that a little bit. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, would you, like to, would you like to come on our show? But first, allow me to overwhelm you with zombies. Oh, well, thank you, Bree. <laughs> I feel like it's just the perfect thing to do. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it just, it, it makes sense, you know, uh, invite, call, call, be, be nice, and also terrify him. Like, uh. it's, it's a give and take, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, feel it's like all, it's, it's all in good fun. Yeah, yeah. I feel like my favorite so far is inciting a hype train that reached level five, and then you just like broke for a little. Bit. I think that was my favorite. It was very chaotic. It was I'm enjoyable. Glad that, I'm glad you had fun with watching me suffer over an <laughs> underwhelming mountain of support. <laughs> well, knowing that you have that overwhelming mountain of support is good, though. <laughs> <laughs> I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, um, no problem. Yeah, as far as you know, going into like the more spooky side of things. Um, yeah. I definitely think that, you know, because we're probably going to wind up founding a guild. Um, I, I could definitely see that happening. Ooh, um, what would you name your guild? Uh, we're probably going to call it the Violet Sign. You know? Nice. Uh, it, it's already like part of my brand and everything like that. You know, That's what I call the Discord. It's the Violet Sign Community Discord. Um, 
you know, we could call it the cult of the violet sign. We could just call it the violet sign. Whatever. It's something distinctive. It's something that, you know, when you, know, you hit, well, most people hear that. Uh, if they know who I am, they, oh, I lost track in there for a second. <laughs> oh, no. Um, when people who know who I am hear that, they're just like, oh, Gab's involved. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's going to be a good association, you know. My favorite and, part was I use a uh, hashtag scared. Cab here's a dog. Cab. No, no, not a dog. See, there's no dog. <laughs> nice. Look, dogs in seven days to die are terrifying. They're so oh, yeah. fast. Oh, yeah. Um, I tried doing a VR thing where um, you are surrounded by like these robots or these zombies. There's there's been a couple of different versions of them, and you have to use a, a gun to like kill them and like protect yourself and like get through them. I just anything that comes up on me and like is attacking <laughs> me is like too much for me. It just overwhelms me. So uh, this is my first experience in VR. Anything, and I just like curl up on a ball on the floor. <laughs> And just give in. And and my boyfriend at the time was like, what are you doing? No, they're going to kill you. I was like, I don't care. Just make it stop. <laughs> Let them end me. Am I suffering? Yeah. I just, I just let, let them end it. Let them end it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I can definitely understand that. I, so I've yet to do any horror in VR. I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I'm a horror VTuber. But also, yes, I'm an insane coward. <laughs> Oh yeah, me too, me too. But uh, I mean, I, I kind of get that same overwhelming in like PvP and other games where I have to fight. Like I just start bush, button mashing, just like God, kill it. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm the same way. And that's going to be one of the interesting things about Ashes is you know being the type of person who isn't really geared for PvP, mm -hmm. but this being a game that is geared for PvP, it's going to it's going to have a learning curve. But I think at the end of the day. And that's going to make it um that's going to make it just all the more memorable. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Um it's it's going to be something that you're going to have moments and that that first time where after getting repeatedly just wrecked in PvP over and over and over again, and when you finally eke out a win, yeah. that's going to be one of those moments where you're just like, oh, I will treasure this because it will never happen again. <laughs> <laughs> right right you're like one of the few times i think there was one time in apoc that i got to the end of the game without dying one and it was only because i was with a group of other people and the other people that were there were also part of my team so we were the only team to not die and that's the only way i won otherwise i usually died within the first five minutes just oh. <laughs> Just face rolling and button smashing and everything possible to get like the attacks out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I mean, we were we were playing seven. Oh, not seven days. We playing Dead by Daylight today on my stream, and we were playing Survive with friends, and, nice. um, and we had the community on there, and I was like, "All right, community, here's your job. Don't let me die." <laughs> Because I get targeted by the killer, and I'm just like, oh, panic, panic, I don't know what to do. And then I run into a machete face first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wayne, we don't have a uh, gunshot or sound effects on this stream. That is something that Vertech and I are talking about adding, uh, but it'd be more tavern based things. So, like uh, a cheers and a clink noise and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have actually cursed out your chat a couple of times while uh, just <laughs> lurking. <laughs> Because I will be, I'll have you up over here and then I have my laptop that I work on and all of a sudden I'll just hear like a bang and I'm just like <laughs> shocked out of working. So, um, and I'll, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely understand. There's actually, there's a, a friend of mine who's a fellow VTuber, uh, Tea Leaf. She mm. uh, one time was sitting there, she, like she told me the story afterwards. She was like, uh, I was sitting there working on a drawing for a commission and somebody played a jump scare on your screen and I yeeted my stylus <laughs> into the air. It hit a ceiling fan and was hurled across the room and I had to go find my stylus because of your stream. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, but I'm also very proud of them because of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Man, good job, Call. We just are multiple people in <laughs> They're a devious bunch of devils, but I love them with all of my potential heart. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. Whew. 
I'm so glad I can't like, uh, I don't have to go into the office though. Cause that allows me to kind of lurk on people's streams while I'm working. But if oh, I was yeah. in the office, I'm sure I would have had some explaining to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we get him back. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a, a, a fun little rotation of events between you and chat. It's just like chat does something to terrify you. You uh, get onto them for terrifying you. They enjoy that. And then, you know, it just repeats. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and sometimes one of the great things is that sometimes chat scares itself. <laughs> like I'll be in something or I'm not like fully awake yet because I do stream in the mornings yeah. and chat's like, we're going to play this jump scare. And they're like, cause <laughs> we're going to get cab. And I'm just like, eh, but other people will chat like, no, you got me. <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, <laughs> suffer with me. <laughs> Chaotic evil is what I call that. But <laughs> v wants to know if you play Phasmo. So I actually, I've never played Phasmo, but but I have played <laughs> Ghost Hunter Corpse, which is kind of like Phasmo uh, on crack. <laughs> the yeah. ghosts are more aggressive. They will actually come out to your van and they will rip the door off the van and come in the van and get you. Um, I'm waiting for a couple more updates on it before I start to play it reg regularly, but it is, it's, it's, it's a really good game. Um, all the problems that I kind of had with Phasmo and why I never played it, I think the solved by Ghost Hunter Corp. And you get a salt mm -hmm. shotgun too, so. <laughs> I was just gonna respond to Wayne for shame. I wish uh, Vertek was here because he loves a good pun. Um, I always shake my head at him like, <sighs> whenever he does a pun <laughs> uh, I, I i enjoy them but it's one of those things like where you, where you enjoy it but you don't want to admit that you enjoy it you know so like oh yeah it makes life interesting but also it's so fun to give him that i'm i'm so disappointed in you look <laughs> oh oh no definitely uh i i enjoy a good pun myself uh i'm a i'm a chilling connoisseur of petrifying puns but sometimes some of the ones that you know chat will throw out and it's just like you're like you go and like start to read chat and you're just like okay da, 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 and it's a it's a pun yeah and it sneaks up on you're just like oh, you're evil <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh this is the, okay I, I like where this oh my gosh that that's where that joke went okay <laughs> yeah yeah nice um all righty so there's a few things that I wanted to chat about. You did you see the live stream last week? I unfortunately, I unfortunately have not gotten around to watching it. But okay. if you want to like you know bounce some bullet points off me, I'm more than happy to comment. I'm more than happy to comment on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just more so. Uh, I mean, this shows off the more recent gameplay that they've been showing off. I just wanted to get kind of an idea of your idea of back when we last saw. When we chatted, at least, Ashes of Creation and APOC and Alpha One, and your ah, opinion gotcha. on how it's changed, and and if that's a good change, or if there's things that you would like to see that are that would be better, things like that. So I I'll go ahead and say yes, I I did play an Alpha One. Um, I I've got to say that was probably one of the smoothest Alpha Ones that I have ever had the petrifying pleasure of being a part of. Yeah. Like. There were, yeah, in the beginning, there were moments, like, I ran into, like, the glitch where you're, like, swimming across the ocean because the, the fairies were broke. Yeah. And then, like, you start to swim into the air, and you're just like, I can fly. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, or the, the reverse where you die, and then you come back to life, but it, for some reason, pushes you through the floor of the world, so you just fall forever into the yeah. water and then die again. <laughs> Yeah, I had that one happen too. But the fact of the matter is, is that when things like that happened, Intrepid was so on the ball of getting those bugs like noted and getting those bugs worked out. Like I think that was like the first week of like like um that one was it like a weekend of alpha when they were the worst? And then like when we went to that month long alpha, it was just like 
wow, this is a lot smoother. And even then, like, yeah. it still had some kinks. You know, it still had, like, some, you know, network issues oh and um, <laughs> things like that. And But the rate at which they were able to take those, iron them out, and kind of tweak things and get things working was mm -hmm. natural responsiveness that I have not seen out of, like, a studio. Like, let's go ahead and be honest. Uh, Ash of Creation is going to be a AAA game. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's too big to be considered anything else, I do believe. That was probably the fastest response I've seen out of, you know, somebody who's producing a AAA game. I want to say ever. Not um, to mention they are they have a very small team comparatively. Like if you compare this to literally Blizzard who has an entire Blizzard campus. Oh yeah. They have a super tiny team working on Ashes relatedly. Oh, yeah, but I also think that that attests to the skill of, you know, Intrepid Studios and their team. Because, you know, uh, for those <laughs> for those who don't know, uh, Intrepid Studios is consisted of several, set, you know, a large majority of their are veterans of the MMO industry. Uh, mm -hmm. To include, what was it, like EverQuest, Star mm -hmm. Wars Galaxies. Um, uh, what Don't they have, like, devs from, like, Ultima Online? Yeah, As like well? all, all over. Um, one thing I don't know if you knew, Jeffrey Bard recently left. I don't know if you heard that. I heard about Jeffrey okay. leaving the company. Uh, I was I was not certain as to the context. I didn't really look into it because I've been... Essentially, he got offered a job in VR space. And ah! we're all speculating that it must have been a better contract and that he thinks that maybe he can leave ashes on a good foot like like ashes is in a place where he can leave and they can replace him but right. um apparently that was like his dream job is to go work in vr space and so he had gotten a contract to go work with them oh, well congratulations to him i'm uh, yeah. sad to see him go but if that's his dream job by all means jeffrey right. if you ever see this go catch that dream yes <laughs> But yeah, I mean, so many people from everywhere and I mean, people that played on those things for a very long time and, and, and Steven Sharif, who's a personal fan of, of gaming in general and just wanting to see something like this come to fruition. That is one of the greatest things. So I, I'm fairly certain that anybody who's ever been an MMO nerd has always had the, uh, oh, if I had millions of dollars, I yeah. would create my own MMO and it would be like the game that I want to play. It would be my dream game. I yeah. love that Steven is essentially like the epitome of that dream that so yeah. many MMO nerds have had. <laughs> He's just like, I have millions of dollars that I've earned through real estate. And now yeah. I'm going to make my own MMO. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I feel like it's like the equivalent of like when you're a D&D &D player and you're like, I want this to run my way. I'm going to be the DM. Like, you yeah. know, except less less soul crushing because yeah, you get to yeah, play yeah. your own game later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, D2 Phoenix. Hello, Volga. Welcome in. But yeah, um, you know, uh, but yeah, have you played Alpha 1? Alpha 1 was surprisingly smooth uh as far as content goes yes it was bare bones but it's an mm -hmm. alpha one it was yeah. essentially we were going in we we're testing the systems we we're working all those you know super game breaking bugs out uh trying to get it so you know like test the loads on the servers and you know see if they work with even just this small number of people um get these you know figure out which quests kind of need to be tweaked a little bit, which ones are like where, you know, NPCs are bugged, you know, figure out, you know, common player pathing, mm -hmm. uh, things like that, you know, figuring out just how the, because like they, they said they were going to do the combat rework, right? But yeah. like they didn't get to it in like this iteration of Alpha 1, did they? They iterated it a couple of times. Um, most recent was like really towards the end. I think they had one final iteration that they had done right at the end, but they were trying to test it. Um, they had put it out at one point and people were saying, oh, it just, it doesn't feel like I'm doing any damage or whatever. And, and, uh, Maggie in their last live stream actually said, all we did was change the animation and everybody was like, oh, this is so much better. It's doing so much damage. It's just like, it's, it's doing the same damage. We didn't, we didn't touch the numbers. We just... <laughs> We just changed the animation. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's also... Um, th I think that can also goes into... Um, 
you know, making combat feel meaningful. Because and that was one of the things that I, I hopped on for the longest time was um, if Ashes can make combat feel meaningful, make mm -hmm. it feel good, make it have a good feedback to it, and, and that could be just as simple as changing the animations, right. then I think that might be the biggest hurdle that they need to overcome. If they can make combat feel good and people want to engage in it, that is a huge asset because I know that yeah. we've uh, the the likeness has been uh, said in the past. Like for all the faults of you know Blizzard and World of Warcraft and everything, their combat feels responsive. It feels good when you click a button, you do the thing, and it feels good. Yeah. Um, and you know it doesn't have to be wild combat because um, Ash is still doing the hybrid system, right? Yeah, like, they're still working on that, okay. the hybrid system. I, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, you know, the, <laughs> even with it being a hybrid system where, you know, you can switch between the action combat and switch between like the tab combat. Um, it's as long as the combat feels good, they can tweak the numbers all they want. Uh, the numbers can be crap in the beginning. Mm -hmm. but if the combat is crap in the beginning. They're going to lose so many people. So mm -hmm. like even just changing animation to make it feel better and people just like, oh, this is so much better. Yeah. Sometimes that might be all it takes. Right. Um, yeah. And it, it, it's experimentation like anything else. That's what the alpha is for. Get those systems in place, get things kind of feeling good and build from there. Yeah, definitely. And I think I think that's one of the best parts about Ashes. And the other best part to me is the diversity of what you can do inside of Ashes. You know, you, you don't have to stick to a very specific way of playing Ashes of Creation. There's uh, the crafting system. There's mm -hmm. uh, doing the raids and the dungeons. There's going out and protecting caravans from people trying to attack your caravan and things like that. There's there's so much. I, I know a lot of people have said, is there too much in Ashes? And I'd be like, no, no, I don't think there is. I think <laughs> there is enough for almost anybody to kind of find their niche in the game. Yeah, and, I can see that. Um, that in itself is an asset. Yes, there are going to be some people that be like, well, I can't do everything. And it's like... Yeah, but I think there's going to be a lot of a lot more people that are going to be like, I found the thing that I like, and yeah. I found the thing that I want to do. Uh, because yeah. I've talked to members of my community, and they're like, well, I have no interest in PvP. I'm, and I'm just like, well, <laughs> you could run a tavern with Paula Games, and you get to decorate the tavern and have like a garden out there. And they're like, sold. I'm sold. I don't like PvP, but I get to have a garden and have a yep. house I can decorate. I'm in. You got me. And I'm just like, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. The freehold system, the housing yeah. system. That's exactly what you need. I mean, Vertek and I are planning on making the Golden Feather uh, alive in Ashes and whatever server we end up in. But Demon Queen VV says, I want all the options. Give me more. <laughs> exactly. I, I think having, a, when it comes to a game like Ashes, having a multitude of options, mm -hmm. not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Um, yeah. And like I, I think myself, uh, I I probably want to get more into like I want to get into the PvP, but I think crafting and you know kind of being a bit of a homebody may be <laughs> where I kind of wind up at in the long term. Because I'm going to be honest, I've never been a very good raider. I've never been a very good PvPer. I like crafting. I like decorating. I'm a I, I, I'm the person who will sit and play Minecraft for hours if you let me. <laughs> right, right. And so you know, I could do that. And then it's like, well, Cab, aren't you the uh, aren't you the guild leader? And it's like, well, I am, but actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And it was and, you know, based find, on the VR game. Nice. Yeah, and you know, find the the member of the community that wants to lead like raids and PvP actions and stuff like that. And maybe we have like you know. Uh, you know, a Violet Sign 2 or the Electric Boogaloo or something like that guild. And, you know, that's where the, the people that really want to go out and do the PvP and stuff, that's where they hang out at. And it's, I think there's going to be more than enough for, and even if they only get half the systems that they're proposing in, there's going to be more than enough for everybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's also like just the whole fishing, you just sit there and, and fish for a while and and whatnot. I like that. I think it's cool. Um, I, I, I have friends like that. They go and play. Well, what do you do? I fish for eight hours. 
I make money because nobody wants to fish for eight hours. Yeah. I also have all of the cool amounts that you can only get from fishing. Yeah, and they love it. <laughs> they love it. It's like I pay 15 bucks a month. I get to pay my fishing simulator. I get cool stuff yeah. out of it. I get to make money in game. I'm happy. Yeah. You just want your uh, mounts and pets while doing bard things. I, I'm here for that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so one thing I wanted to talk about, uh, and I'm, I'm really happy Vivi is here. Sorry, Vivi. Um, <laughs> but I've noticed that there's a, a, a more uprising of VTubers coming into the Ashes of Creation space, which I think is amazing because that yep. opens up to a whole new world of people that get to enjoy ashes like you got your favorite vtuber and you got the person that's playing like ashes at the same time and you have that unique combination between the two that just it just it's a really nice thing i like seeing because i've seen um vivi and i were chatting and she said that she was playing in the alpha one and then there was a I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Uh, we raided her during Alpha 1. She had ev ended up being a... Um, I don't know what to call it. A Not a manager. I can't... Mayor. There we go. Mayor of one of the nodes. Uh, Clover, I think is her name. Something Clover. Uh, Buttercup, thank you. That's... Yeah. Oh, is that... Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I, I was I, I had her stream open and then I closed it for some reason. I was like, oh, no, for some reason, her name reminds me of like plants. So Clover comes to mind. It's totally better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and it's interesting because like we got, uh, you know, big, like big, big MMO players. So like Asmin Gold showed up and it was just yeah. like he brought his entire community in. Of course, he wound up as Mavinode. Um, <laughs> right. Um, but. You know, we also got like big uh, VTubers in as well, like uh, Silvervale from V yeah. Shoujo. She was playing the Ashes of Creation Alpha, and her nice. community, you know, her 3,000 plus on the regular, you know, community was in there rooting her on and seeing the game and, you know, getting to see her gush about it. Uh, I know her her brother, Konzetsu, like he was playing Alpha as well. Like, Khan's a great guy. It's great to see him uh, testing it out, you know, throwing his. Uh, his horrifying bony hat in the ring because, yeah. you know, it's there's a whole slew of individuals who might not otherwise look at ashes that are being led into it by the leaders of these communities that they're part of. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I, I, I know we had talked about role playing in ashes in the past, but, you know, myself included, we, VTubers are kind of like. <sighs> It's been like it before, but it's kind of like digital LARPing in a sense. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. I, I agree. And so, yeah. like, my my own community, like, was going to be doing, you know, the cult of the violet sign. And we want to, you know, have everything kind of, like, culty and spooky yeah. and things like that. And, you know, people in, like, purple and running around and saying that we're part of a cult. <laughs> and uh, I think that will add to just, like, the flavor of the world in and of itself. Yeah. Getting these... <laughs> Vivi is just like, LOPPING! <laughs> yeah, hashtag lock gang! Um... <laughs> Um, but it would be interesting getting like these kind of more immersed and n I wouldn't, I wouldn't say try hard, but like, you know, you're, there's going to be guilds in there that are going to be very, you know, we're here to dominate the game and be yeah. the best that we can at raids. And there's, I think, you know, especially with the VTuber community getting involved, there's going to be more guilds in there that are not like, uh, let's go role play in Goldshire, but it's <laughs> going to be, um, it's going to be like, Hey, we have like this theme that we're around yeah. and, um, like, I imagine Cabal's, like, guild area is going to be filled with all of, like, the necromancy type of, <laughs> like, cosmetics, you know, and, and all of his followers ride and, and enjoy mounts that are of that necromantic kind of area like i could just i could see that and then and then vivi's <laughs> is like just red and hellish themed everything's on fire there <laughs> yeah and it'll be like there's always been like the concept of like guild uniforms and guild themes but like when it comes to like vtubers and stuff like that each vtuber definitely has their like their their color palette <laughs> they have their theme they have everything like that and i would not be surprised if you're dead on the money that a lot of the community members that are part of like you know that particular vtubers guild 
take on aspects of that theme and that kind of yeah. becomes like their guild house their guild area you know yeah. the, the cost cosmetics that their characters wear the mounts that they use everything like that and it will be cool to see because you'll know when when you walk into somebody's hood you're gonna know <laughs> <laughs> whose hood it is <laughs> yes, i agree uh, i feel like you would do well with that uh that like the thing that came out like covid first started coming out with the wolf with the like decayed parts to it and you could see like part of the wolf bone peeking out i feel like that would be something along your domain a little bit so it was the it was the high seas cosmetic pack that came out and it had like the jellyfish mount and it had like the coral boat and like those look super eldritch like they they have mm-hmm. straight lovecraftian themes to them i was just like Bet I won't ride around on a jellyfish mount if it's <laughs> land capable. Bet. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it was like blue and purple as well. I'm just like sold. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I would love. For, uh, by the way, Intrepid, if you're watching, would love to see a skeletal mount at some point. Just because it's Halloween doesn't mean we're necessarily celebrating Halloween. It could be like you know. That you, you can fight skeletons in D and D and and Pathfinder, so why can't there be a skeleton horse? I don't I don't know. Me and Cap are gonna have turf wars. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh no! I thought we were going to be part of this. I thought we were going to be part of the the Fantasy Inc. Alliance, VV. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh. But Last yeah, year's no, Halloween it's... skills were amazing. Yeah, I agree. Deep oh yeah, the um, like the the the, the spoopy kind of like uh, Deadwood Witch yeah. cosmetics. Those were yeah. so good. Those I'm were sad. Cool. I, I'm sad. I missed out on them. Uh, DJ, you would have liked those. Like you would have been sold. They were like primarily blue in color, naturey, <laughs> kind of like spooky witch. Oh, they were so good. Yes, um, yes, it was very nice. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited what they're going to come out with this year. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, speaking of this year, I think next month, end of next month, there is a beginning of... Well, next month, they're definitely doing their Spooktober, October, like... uh, Every year, they do a thing where they end up giving away access keys of some sort. Oh, yeah. um, For doing, like, pumpkin carvings and art and things like that. Those are my favorite to cover, honestly. Um, We don't talk about Z and and murdering people with lava in Minecraft. (laughs) But uh, that was last year's shenanigans. More art. Agreed, agreed, Z. I know, Z. Tears. (laughs) I remember Lovely. Could that. you think? Welcome in. Thank you. Um, I'm glad to have you as a part of our tavern. Uh, but yeah, love a photo and live stream. Yes. So for those of you who missed it, um, let me actually just <laughs> hide my chrome real quick. I will. I'm not going to show you that. But uh, Z was a part of a team. They're all rebuilding in Minecraft. One of the architectures in in Ashes, and. Um, they were on to the judging phases when uh, somebody, not going to say who, uh, destroyed somebody else's house because it was fair game. It was fair game. You could totally do that. That was fine. But somebody destroyed somebody <laughs> else's house with lava. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was it was interesting, to say the least. <laughs> the secretly uh, a veteran of uh, the oldest anarchy server on Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm going to open a couple of images so that I can share with you guys. Wizzy, hello. Hello. (laughs) Oh, Wizzy McNasty, welcome in. Your loyal cultist is here. Is that where you've been, Wizzy? Is that where you've been? We keep Wizzy in the cult basement. She keeps us entertained. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. Um... Let's but yeah, and no, I I could definitely see it. You know, like uh, you know, with more with more VTubers getting into Ashes, yeah, it does mm-hmm. open up a a whole new audience to the game that yeah. uh, may have otherwise not maybe given it a look. Mm-hmm. Um, and with how the communities of a lot of VTubers are just continuously growing, that is a very large and I would even say dare say dedicated uh influx of individuals who just want to play with their favorite creators. Yeah, and um. Like that, that's my whole goal is, you know, I'm big on community and, you know, I plan to have the guild and, you know, have it be a community thing. I, I don't plan to be too competitive at it. Um, 
Because I know that a lot of people are looking at ashes and they'll be like, well, information walls are going to be a huge thing. Well, I'm horrible at keeping a secret. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, just have fun with it. You know, have yeah. fun with it. pull my community in, um, see what memories we can make and what good times we can have in what hopefully is going to be a game to revolutionize the MMO space. Yeah, and I think that's amazing, and I I'm really happy to see that you all are participating in that. Um, oh, sorry, that was loud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have those like uh, arm tear things that like you have to move them, but they click into place, so it's oh, like, yeah. really noisy. But um, I wanted to show off some of the things that they're saying should be. Um, I don't know if this is something in in game or not, but this this specifically is their Rankai Warriors uh, armor, mm. and I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, by the way, there will be, I believe, dye inside of ashes. So if you like something, but it may not fit your aesthetic, like <clears throat> a s certain creepy horrid host <laughs> however could she be talking about i have no yeah. idea but uh <laughs> perhaps you could dye your armor to match you know i want Maybe. that right right Ooh, a violet god yeah i saw these and i posted it in my uh, in my community discord i was just like i was like check out it was like check out this concept art i'm like yes. look cool i'm like it's orc samurais and people are like <gasps> orc yes. samurais and i'm like yep that's an entire race this is the September collection, actually. They just released the uh, information on it. Um, here, I will just <laughs> copy. Wait, open image. Wait. Ah. Yeah, open it in a new tab. There we go. That works. It's almost pumpkin carving season again, Cab. Stoked to see your work this year. I don't know if I'm going to be part of the uh, the pumpkin carving contest this year because last year was was rough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael just want me to get work still happening. That's that that that's the way to do it. Do what you Give want. Give me exactly. one second. I'm going to mute myself. Oh no problem. Uh, but yes, I'm excited to see what the community in general does. Uh, us here at the Golden Feather, we are very community centric. Uh, we like to hear what you and chat have to say. We like to hear what our guests have to say. Um, our hope is that we can interview as many content creators as possible and give the general community an idea of who to go to for things, especially with them having just opened up the content creator program, which, by the way, Cabal, did you apply for that? I actually, um, I did not. Okay. You can, you can hear me, right? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I actually, I did not because I'm going to be honest, I'm more a... Yes, I focus on mainly horror games as my, my kind of niche, mm -hmm. and being a horror VTuber and everything, but I am a variety streamer. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't think I'll be dedicated enough or putting out enough content to... On Ashes specifically. Yeah, yeah on Ashes yeah. specifically. And, uh, you know, even if I could get in there's like cab you've got great numbers we want you to be part of the content creator program i don't want to potentially take that away from somebody else who's going to be more dedicated and me just getting in because oh me have good number yeah um, yeah I, I don't think that'd be fair um i don't think it'd be right and yeah yeah I, i'm not really sure if they're going to be looking for the kind of content I want to kind of make for Ashes as well. <laughs> yeah, that's so, fair. Um, yeah. You'll do all the creepy pasta lore behind it. And like maybe if people are into that like creepy genre and they make their own little creepy pasta lore is based off of the overarching lore. That'd be cool. Little creepy pasta Ashes stories. Maybe. Um but like an another thing I was looking at doing for Ashes is, you know, kind of being less of a. OK, so one of the things I've noticed is that a lot of people are uh, they're more an authority on the game, I guess you could say. Yeah. Like, you know, theory crafting, uh, figuring out, you know, the features and we're talking numbers and things like that. I would actually, especially with, you know, how the worlds are going to have their own stories with the way that the node system are going to work and each server is going to develop different from other the servers. My goal is kind of like whatever server I'm on, whatever server my community on mm -hmm. is on, is kind of be a historian 
of Ooh, that server and nice. you know have more you know like cinematic videos like so, okay so one of my plans is to um yeah, go around <laughs> <laughs> so one of my plans is <laughs> yeah I, oh, I haven't been super quiet about it but you know oh, okay. i think it's um i think it's an interesting idea I've, i think i've talked about it with with Fane and uh, maybe mm -hmm. a couple other people. I think Bart, Bartek as well. But mm -hmm. my idea is to be, you know, kind of this historian, go around and have like more cinematic videos, um, mm -hmm. things like that, of, you know, like historical events and stuff like that. And, you know, go around with other community members who are going to like help me record footage. So we can get footage from all different angles of things going on at the same time. Uh, nice. hopefully be able to like hand that over to an editor and get them, you know, figure out the script for it and everything like that. And almost kind of, mm, I would say kind of like a news, like major events on the server kind of thing. Yeah. And not only that, but also like, I might do also like Mimi videos as well. Like, so like somebody like, you know, Jalan, for example, like he's got, he's going to be an expert on things. Um, me, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just like, so you like big swords? You want to hit people with a book? You want to bust out? You want to bust out your divine whip of vengeance and smack that ass? Well, you <laughs> might want to play a cleric. <laughs> um, yeah, it's ridiculous things like that. Um, not taking myself seriously in the least. Yeah, uh, and it just fun videos kind of put my whip, uh, put my wit into it um sure you could like watch this you could figure out how to like play a cleric but it's it's not going to be like this super hardcore breakdown and just um you know super serious thing it's me going to be it's going to be me taking you know taking the gas out of things yeah. and just having fun with it and on top of that you know keeping track of like big events because i like to tell stories yeah yeah exactly um, by the way, Vivi, I think the the actual mount is something that you would you would like to down here in the corner. I don't know if you can see my mouse. Nope. But down in the corner, I think that would be perfect for you. But yeah, d telling that story and having that ask that perspective and it definitely having the nice multi viewpoint of different cams. <laughs> I think one thing I was trying to do really badly during A one was uh, capture pictures without my my character in it but they didn't implement that yet. <laughs> right. And, um, I mean, like, one of those other cool things about having, like, multiple people capturing footage and stuff like that is, like, that you can have somebody set up to, like, you know, you're sitting there and you have the scene going on, and then you can, like, have somebody that, like, pans away from the, you know, from what's going on, and this, like, fades into, like, uh, another scene where you're, like, talking about something. And you can do those really cool transitions that uh, you can't do like say by just by yourself and that definitely adds yeah. a more cinematic bent to it and yeah. i think that is um that's one of the things that i want to do with my content is just make things more cinematic tell a story uh them being a pleasure to watch uh stuff like that is it going to be hell on my editor yes am i probably gonna to have to pay him a lot more probably yes but <laughs> sorry if you ever see this i love you buddy you're great uh i'm gonna keep you busy <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> nice I like it. Uh, yeah, that's definitely. Um, it's good to know because then I can I can kind of like point people towards you for that content and and of course in general for the creepy amazing content. Um, so this is actually a, a fencing for farms. We're going back to the conversation we were having about freeholds and people wanting to have a garden. This is yes. This is so that you could have a farm of some sort up. And I thought that was kind of cool. Kind of going more into like the animal husbandry, <laughs> farmer BB on duty. <laughs> and I thought this was kind of cool going into like that animal husbandry feeling oh, yeah. and, and stuff like that. And it just, it's really cool. Uh, this is a junior fencing. Um, nice, perhaps nice you might keep our livestock in here. Yeah, it's um I've gotta say all the assets that Intrepid Studios are coming out and like they're now showing models and stuff all of them. Yeah. I, I know uh, a criticism a lot of people had, well we see all this cool fan art, but we don't see any in game models. Right. Well now we're starting to see more and more of these in game models and it's like, Oh, 
Oh, they're actually sticking very closely to the fan art, to the um, to yeah. the concept art, and it yeah. is just like it's crazy, right? Uh, Maggie was just talking the other day about like which one's the fan art and which one's the render. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're that good. <laughs> um. I'm really oh, excited man. to see how the farming is going to be. That's the stuff I love. Yeah, and that's that's one of the things you know that I was I was touching on. Earlier. There's a lot of people I know that they're not so interested in PvP, but they're interested in all these extra systems. Yeah, that Ashes is going to have in it, and as extensive as it and overwhelming as it might seem, I do think I do think, like I said before, that's going to be a huge asset to them to appeal yeah. to that non-PvP centric crowd. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I I am also a, opposed to a lot of PvP. I'm okay with it if I'm in a group, but when I am by myself, it is not fun. <laughs> I get overwhelmed. Like I said, I button mash. I do whatever it takes to try to not die. I usually end up dying anyway, but you know, still, uh, you, it's more fun when you have other people dying with you. It's not oh, like definitely. you've taken the uh, you've taken the Kabbalian approach to uh, PvP. Stand in front of me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much looks around, grabs a vertex, just shoves a vertex in front of me. Protect me! <laughs> I'll heal you. <laughs> I just uh, mainly, I mainly play healer types. But I mean, cleric is pretty like heavy hitting. But in like World of Warcraft and stuff like that, I'm I'm very squishy. So I just they always go after the healer. So I always feel targeted. But I love playing healer. So it's like, I, do I do I not play healer so I don't feel targeted, or do I play healer because I like playing healer? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's going to be the interesting. The um one of the things I'm looking forward <laughs> in Alpha Two is getting to see the um getting to see the class with class system in full swing. Yeah. Um, that's one of the things I'm really. I'm really excited for. I had a lot of people ask me. They were just like, you know, should I get into Alpha One? I was just like, mm, unless you're a content creator or you really, really want to support the game, uh, I would say wait to Alpha yeah. Two. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to cost you less. It's they're going to have more like the content and the features out. You're going yeah. to be, you know, get to see people tinkering with the systems. I say that is a that will be a good point for people to figure out if they want to do that. Jump in early on the game. Yeah, because I mean, at that point, I mean, it's it's not such a kind of still in the works game, which a lot of people, uh, granted, Intrepid can only do so much to remind people like, by the way, this is a this is in progress. This is all stuff we're oh, yeah. working on. Um, people were so like, the crafting doesn't work. And we're like, yes, we, we, we told you that. We, yeah, we, and that, that was one. <laughs> that was one of the things when uh, when I streamed the alpha the couple times that I did, I you know all, I always would ham try to hammer home the fact this is an alpha one, and I'm not talking like a Steam like a Steam early access alpha one. Like no 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 no, this is an actual functioning alpha one. Mm -hmm. that they have been generous enough to allow us to show off because one they're confident in it, and second off they hope that content creators will be like this is a legitimate alpha one. Uh, there's not a lot of content in it. This is bare bones AF, mm -hmm. and we'll put it together a game, and we want your feedback. And hopefully, yeah. being able to have those content creators tap into their audiences and get that mass feedback, which I was able to do, and it was you know it was really fun uh, getting the community to talk about it and you know seeing how they're excited about it, explain the systems, explain things that weren't in yet. Yeah. Um, yeah but also, <laughs> yeah, and and also just show them like how good of an alpha one it was uh that's a comment i got a lot was like wow this is an alpha one i'm just like yes this is an alpha one mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> surprising isn't it <laughs> yeah i was expecting like some things to like not be textured and like we're over here and you know it was gonna be rough and it's like no no everything was textured um the effects were looking great yeah. Uh, the, the yeah, the combat needed work, but you know that's something they consistently worked on. For the most part, it was like I said before, the smoothest Alpha One I've ever been a part of. Yeah, honestly, the only problems I had were uh, Vertech and I were having issues with our computer when we were around certain water parts because the the CPU would just rev up and something was just eating resources yeah. like crazy. But aside yeah. from that, it was just good. And having to go out and like find those and was like, oh, I found this place where I've like glitched through and into a place I'm not supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> those, were, yeah. those were fun bugs. 
Yeah. Uh, Vivi says, yeah, it was a big debate for me if I wanted to be a part of the awful one, but I went for it and I really enjoyed getting to share it with everyone and getting people hyped for it. Yes. I'm happy because that's the ultimate thing is like, yes. Are you paying X amount for a alpha one access? Sure. But you get alpha two, beta one, beta two access to the game. Um, you get all of the surprise tests that we get, that we get to share. And, oh, yeah. um, there's just, there's so much to it. And not only that, but you get firsthand experience to help, make the game better definitely and i think and you know everybody was like oh my god you paid uh, you paid five hundred dollars for you know what is it alpha you know alpha one access and oh it was gosh. i believe it was fame and he actually sat down and he made a video that what he broke down like the cost of everything and mm -hmm. when it came down to it i think it was like 60 to 20 bucks is what you are actually paying for Alpha One access. And yeah. it's just like, wow. <laughs> but you're getting all the other things, right? Yeah. I mean, I I don't have that same problem or that same, like, I can't relate to that necessarily because I was part of the Kickstarter. I was back, um, I'm PI, so I've been I've been oh. a part of it for a while. You're, you're um, part of the old guard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so for me, I was like, well, I, I'm, like looking back, I'm glad I, I jumped in when I did because the reality is I don't think I would have had the money currently to jump in. But all oh, of yeah. the perks that came with it, I was just blown away by. I was just like, yeah, this is worth it. I get to follow this game development and give input and be like, cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was whizzy. It's like, I'm stuck in like the same hole for three sieges. It was a really nice hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty much. Graphics on the hole were good. Yay, I'm glad, Vivi. I'm glad you, you found it worth it. Because like yeah. so many people are like, that's not worth it. But I feel like those are more the Redditors. They're like, ah, yeah. Rare. No, as a content, <laughs> uh, I would say like, you know, as a content creator and, you know, somebody who plans to, you know, like do more Ashes content in the future, if, you know, not, not dedicatedly, but still do more Ashes content in the future. It was, uh, this is something I discussed with Fane uh, when I was hanging out with him on stream one time was, uh, it was an investment. And I'm going to be honest in like the kind of visibility jumping in uh, on that early and, you know, kind of already establishing, establishing myself as, you know, kind of sort of part of, you know, the Ashes creation community, not a, as dedicated a member as like you and Vertec and Fane and Jalon and um, oh, but still a, a and everybody big else. Part of it. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, somebody who is, you know, there and part of it, it was it was good it was it was a good investment i already made my money back on it so yay there we go <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. right i mean also the other part of it is like <laughs> going <laughs> Ready like, where happiness goes to die <laughs> yeah 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 i was giggling at that too um oh. but the other thing is going back to the whole stephen conversation of d uh, character player who got to realize the dream of making a game. This is the part where you get to spend a fraction of the cost of what it takes to make a game to help make a game. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we get to say, and it's like, hey, you know, uh, what is it, like two to three years from now when the game is fully out and everybody's just like, oh, wow, you know, we're going to go play Ashes and things like that. You yeah. know, it's, it's a feather in our caps that we get to say we were there from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. And, um... You know, yeah, yeah. All it is at the end of the day, it's a feather in the cap, but it's something that, you know, as as a gamer, as an MMO enthusiast, as you know, folks that are going to be part of you know large communities or leaders of large communities, uh, mm -hmm. it's something that, you know, we can kind of like hold our heads up and be like, oh, well, you know, we believed in it. You know, we were there for it. We were part yeah. of it. We helped make this game as good as it is hopefully going to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait, we can make our money back? I could. <laughs> <laughs> VV says that's how I saw it. Cobb really is a good investment. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. Um, speaking of content creators, there was uh, PK Plays. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Uh, he submitted a video, um, his video, of him using a tungsten steel drum to make the ashes theme. And I just thought this was so cool. Hold on. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I can't hear it though. No, I can't hear it. I don't nope. think they. 
Do they not? No. Nope. <laughs> well, I don't know if they put the audio on there, um, but I'm going to go check out later. But at the very least, here is the link where I got that from. Oops. Here's the link I got it from so you guys can go check it out for yourself because um, I don't know. I'm still working through my audio stuff. I just got this new headset. It's uh, wireless, so I don't have to worry about getting away from the computer and then, like, getting stuck. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say you don't have your uh, your headset that was, uh, you know, so common uh, oh, for yeah, so that long. Was, I was like, that oh, was my birthday headset. gift. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the little pink ones with the cat ears on it. Yeah, that was my birthday gift. And um, <laughs> it's broken for me a couple of times. Oh, so, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, the second one that I just got back was me being able to. Um, oh, you know what it is? I think it's this headset specifically. Uh, uh. This headset specifically likes to block out other sounds because it's one of the ones that allows you to. Uh, to swap between game and voice chat. Ah. I think it's decided that Twitch or Twitter is my game <laughs> and it's not playing the audio because we're streaming <laughs> Poor ears. I know. Um, but you know, uh, go, go enjoy that on your own. Cause it'll probably sound better than over the stream anyway. Um, no but point. yeah. Uh, but I thought that was really cute. There's just like a little, um, Let's see, tongue, a steel tongue drum. Um, and it was pretty much the video game OST. So, uh, the, the Ashes of Creation community and their ability to come up with creative pieces of fan works has yeah. never ceased to impress me because it's, it's not a lot of communities. It's like, oh, here's fan art. It's like, no, for Ash of Creation, it's been like, you know, fan music, uh, yeah. fan landscapes, fan models, fan sculptures, fan, yeah. you know, cosplays. What am I'm expecting somebody to sculpt like a giant sandal statue at some point in time and just be like, I put this in my closet and it's an altar to Steven. Oh and I'm just like, okay, gosh. that's that's kind of weird, champ. But um, cool. I, I think you may have just given me an idea. So we have an unused guest room at the moment and the entire guest room could literally be the altar room for oh, the giant no. sandal. <laughs> we have way too much cardboard anyway. Gotta 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 use it somehow. Oh, that would be interesting. <laughs> like pumpkins? Yes, like a giant ooh, a giant sandal shrine with pumpkins. Oh man, this is adding on to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Welcome in, Psycho. By the way, Psycho is uh, the one that gifted me my my birthday present with the ears and everything. Oh, so, that's very sweet. Yeah, uh, but yeah. So, uh, sorry, Vivi. This is my show, so I get to do whatever I want. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is Vivi's one year anniversary? Oh, is it now? That's what I I have heard <laughs> through the grapevine, at least I believe. Uh, <laughs> is it now? Oh God, I'm being called out. <laughs> it looks like somebody might just have a um an invasion by a good set of cultists to <laughs> wish her a happy one year anniversary. Yes. Hmm. Vivi run. <laughs> I wonder whoever would be. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to go find that and retweet that on Twitter. Go. Which is it out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I just all in all, uh, I think that was pretty much all I had. There was some Reddit things talking about like the visual progression and the skills. Um, I don't know if you saw much of that. Did you the change in the skills from like before to now? I, I did see some of the visual progression, and I gotta say, I like, I I like some of it. Some of it. Um, I, I know, like one of one of the big culprits was was what was it? Black hole. Yeah. Was that, one, oh. the, yeah. Was that yeah. one of the ones that was like a big visual culprit where it's just like, yeah. you know, this is battlefield oh control in more ways than one because you use this, I can't see anything. And neither can you. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> which I, I'm going to be honest. I thought like, 
a, a lot of people were just like, you know, oh, this is too much flash and like too much smoke and too much things going on. I'm like, I feel that's kind of like what a fan, like a high fantasy battlefield should look like. Yeah. Um, have, so, have, so have you ever seen like the Mimi video where it's just like, okay, well, I'm going to go into battle. Don't try to bright, don't try to blind me. And the melee guy runs in and all of the wizards are just like, you know, rainbow sparkling dazzler, flash of <laughs> light. It's like blinding barrage. And this guy is just running around. It's like, I can't see anything. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I feel like I that's what a, that. I, I feel like that's what a high fantasy battlefield would look like. And that oh in its gosh. own way is, uh, I think that would add this chaotic element to uh to pvp with this being like a pvp centric game and it would also make it so like maybe rangers have like more subdued effects maybe rogues have more subdued effects but like a mage is like i'm gonna summon a meteor from the sky and you see that from the distance like there's a mage over there i'm gonna kill him and take your stuff oh my gosh <laughs> and, you know that's um maybe that's a disadvantage of playing a mage yeah. um I don't know. I thought it was something. Uh, I understand if they had to tone it down. If, you know, the majority of the community is like, ah, these are too much, or, you know, so-and-so is too much. Uh, I'm, I understand it. I, I get it. I, I still think it would have been cool. But I'm okay with it. You know, at the end of the day, I was more concerned with combat feeling good than, you know, how it, uh, how flashy it was. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I am happy with how they wound up with it I, I guess if you know that's <laughs> because I, I don't want to like get into specifics because I'm gonna be honest I I don't remember really any specifics besides you know them maybe like kind of toning some things down. Mm -hmm. uh, I was more worried with how things feel like and like how and how the um <laughs> I feel like a freaking wizard <laughs> yeah uh, yeah and um. I don't know. I think they came up with a good compromise. It's still flashy enough to be like, oh, high fantasy, but not like, you know, I'm blind because there's too much stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Uh, I do think if they get it to, uh, you know, where they can have like the, the what is it, 500 versus 500 was what they wanted. I think so. Something like that. Or is it I, 250 v 250, a total of 500? Something to do with 500 for yeah, sure. Yeah, some, something to do with 500. I think if they can get it, like the PvP, like the Siege and stuff to that point, then yeah, it's still going to be pretty chaotic. So maybe in the long run, toning it down a little bit, maybe that was for the best. Maybe I know the that best. they toned some of it down, uh, both in terms of CPU usage by optimizing them and also the craziness of it. Yeah, that was um like weren't they optimizing the game for like a uh like a ten eighty? I think so, because I believe some of the stuff that Steven was recording off of was ten eighty TI or something like that. I went yeah, to play my enemies with sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. If I can't peel you in PvP, I'll give you a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I think uh, I think Ashes has increased a lot since we last chatted, and I love seeing the increase in VTubers. I know BCG is trying to get in on that too. He um, he is, and I've uh, I've been happy to try and like help him with that, and I'm nice. looking I'm looking forward to it. Looking yeah, forward. I think it's going to open up a realm of possibilities <laughs> that he may have not otherwise had. Yeah, should, yeah. Uh, it should be a good thing for him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I like his little uh, avatar. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, the like, little salt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I love it. To it. Um, but yeah, you, you're the one that introduced me to VR like way back when, and I had no idea what VR chat was, and it wasn't until recently. I mean, uh, BCG is also another one that I was kind of like, okay, like so. There's VR stuff and like we had kind of lost contact, but I wasn't sure if you were still in the Ashes space or not. So I kind of reached out to him for a few things. I was like, so what exactly is VR chat? Like, um, <laughs> how does this work? Um, and he was he was giving me like the rundown and it wasn't until I came across Honey Goblet. I was actually looking for somebody to make us some ah. um, assets for here. And I saw I got I kind of got uh, what's it called? Click baited by oh, yeah. Honey's stream. <laughs> Because I didn't realize that her whole thing was the tavern thing, just like ours. Yep. So she's like, 
drawing tavern stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. Perfect. I'm looking for somebody to make tavern things. She already knows what tavern things are. Awesome. I walk in and she's drawing people and I'm like, what? <laughs> and um, then I like sit there and I watch because she has a cute personality. She's super she adorable is. to watch. Honey is, she's a sweetheart. She's yeah. utterly adorable. And I'm so glad she's seen such success. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Uh, I love the, the like goblin avatar that's super cute <laughs> and uh I, I just i ended up staying and i was like oh cool so she's kind of like us was like this is our tavern we're we're here we're like role playing kind of except for as as you put it in meat space <laughs> <laughs> you know reject meat space become vtuber <laughs> no <laughs> well maybe a little <laughs> maybe a little <laughs> maybe a Think little about it hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, ultimately from there, um, I ended up finding Vivi, who mentioned you, and I was like, what? Small circle. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> fun fact, fun fact. The first time I came across Vivi was when she was playing Alpha One. And now we're actually, uh, we're actually, I would say, dare say, pretty good friends. Yay! And, um, you know, now we're part of, you know, part of the same stream team as well and everything. So I love it, it. yeah, it really is weird how. Things kind of like circled around. Yeah. And yeah. how the community can be kind of small. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, it, guys, uh, the Cabal's probably going to kill me, but that's okay. I'll, I'll use my last little bit of time. If you guys want to see Baby Cabal before the VTuber. <laughs> how dare you, madam? Reveal my secrets. <laughs> Nah, it's okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't make a point of like hiding my old content. Uh, no. If people like want to know uh, what I sound like on the reg, like I was hanging out in the Discord earlier. We we're playing Survive with your friends. I'm just like, sorry guys, no voice. We're not on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was. It was just funny because I have gotten reused to your your cabalness in your yeah. streams. And I went to like prep. I was like, oh cool, yeah, we already have an intro for cabal. And I like toss it, and I was like, what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, this yeah. is different. I have uh, I have Cabal from back when he was uh, not quite a VTuber yet, but checking things out. Just he a just filthy had, YouTuber. He had just a little icon and similar to what he's already got. And I just, I'm very, like, I, I'm not going to call you, like, your stream mother or anything because <laughs> that's certainly not the case. But I'm very proud to see how far you've come since I since we last had you on. And you I, I appreciate that. And I, I'm really, you know, I, I do don't think I've expressed just how much I appreciated when you guys did invite me on that first time. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. They're gonna talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm like, this is this is awesome. And you know, I've never I've never forgotten that because it really was a, a good time. And you know, yeah, I'm I'm am I sad that you know Vertec isn't here, but the man needs a vacation. Yeah. And I'm glad you made him take one. Um, I basically told him if he picks up his laptop, <laughs> I'm blocking him in the room and I'm throwing his laptop in another room where he can't get access to it because he <laughs> he uh yeah. I, I can't. Um, I can't reveal secrets. I'm sorry. Yeah, but um. Sorry, no, it, it 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 really Greta. did mean a lot, and I'm glad to be able to you know be back and talk more about Ashes because yeah, my my content is veered away from Ashes, but I'm still excited for the game, and especially yeah. now that my community is growing, and so many people have expressed you know so many people in it have expressed <laughs> interest in Ashes. Uh, I'm. One of the whole things that I, when I started streaming, when I started VTubing, everything, like that, I wanted to build a community of people I could play games with. Yeah. And now that the community is there, I'm looking forward to the games that I can play with them. And Ashes is definitely one of them. I think we're going to have a real scream playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it'll be fun. Uh, no, he was not human. How many respawns ago was it? I think this was the ultimate original, not not a respawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this was uh this was in the this was in the uh you know the early early divine design phases. Yeah, so long ago. Oh my gosh, I think we didn't even have like 
the nice overlay that we have even like the iteration before this we had a uh, layout back on last week and i looked at the overlay i sent him of uh, like our screen chat like asking him if he liked it it was literally nothing but like bare bones like i had the <laughs> chat i had a big blank square for everything like there was it was it was crazy seeing like the night and day difference of like time and money has has given us with the nice overlay and everything so oh yeah it's it's interesting to see how we have broadcasters have grown since then and <laughs> um i think it's only you know i'm i'm looking forward to you know when ashes does roll out and we can all look and be like wow yeah. i remember way back when <laughs> do you remember moth mage <laughs> <laughs> Was this pre Minecraft videos? I have no idea. Was this Cabal? Uh, no, this was uh, this was during the era of like Minecraft videos and stuff like this. Okay, it was like okay. dead in the middle of it. Yeah, and I, I remember like joining in on you a little bit after you started doing creepy pastas. I just couldn't do it because like listening to creepy stories, I just get I get the chills too much, and I just oh. I was well, like, you're not. You're not going to like the new ones I put out because my editor's been putting like sound effects, like oh. ambient sound effects and things I'll in them as well. I'll have to push like that over to Murtag. <laughs> like, here, you know what? You want to break, listen to Cabal say creepy things because you're yeah. going to love it. <laughs> That's like his wheelhouse. He wants to try to take me to like a, a, a horror... Uh, a scary, what's it called? Haunted house, horror house. <laughs> he wants to take me to a haunted house, and I'm like, oh my god, because I I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I, I <laughs> I'm so, going to tell you right now, as a retired haunter, we can smell fear. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> here's here's where my confusion comes in on like well, if I want to go because one time I punched a dude and the next time I hugged him out of scaredness like maybe if I hug you you won't be terrified <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know what went through my head I was just like <laughs> <laughs> well first off that was his fault for, fault for getting within uh, without arm's reach uh, <laughs> but he also got a, a bad a bad read on the body language <laughs> Cause like I don't I don't know if like I, I have like a weird fight or flight response and like I I I don't know like yeah <laughs> that's fine that's part of being a haunter is like sometimes you get punched <laughs> sometimes you get hugged it's yeah. kind of weird when it's the same person but you know <laughs> I'd rather weird. get a hug after a punch. <laughs> That, that would be me because I'd feel bad about punching you, but you scared me and that was my reaction. So then I'd hug you to feel bad. Like, yeah, it was horrible. Learn this, Learn this one, one trick, trick. that guy has never seen coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, that's too good. Oh my gosh. All righty. Well, we have been here for yeah. quite a minute. Yes, um, we have. And you have graced me with your wonderful spooky vibes. Oh, I would dare say that you have graced me with your generous offer to return to a place where I started. Oh, my pleasure. I, I love the, hey, it's been a while. Let's catch up kind of feels too. You know, it's, yeah, just, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, I kind of want to go raid somebody, but oh, yeah? I'm going to drop your socials. One more time. Uh, most of the chat knows who you are, so I'm sure it's not going to be necessary. But you know what? <laughs> hey, I, I appreciate it, it nonetheless. Yeah, no problem. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I kind of take on that mentality of uh, streaming people. Hi, Dante. I'm sorry you're coming in at the end of this. Whoa, what is this? I have a, a cabal with me. And, well, uh, hello there. I'm not sure where Vertec <laughs> went. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We've locked him in the basement. The man needed a break. Yes, yes. Uh, cultists rejoice, pumpkin or re riot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, let me go back to Twitch and let's see who is live. Uh, do you want to recommend anybody? Because I'm happy to read anybody, really. Um, I don't know. Did you have anybody on the list? Because I know some. Uh... Some other spooky VTubers who might be on, if that's your insidious inclination. Ooh. 
Well, you know what? Since this is a special occasion, we don't really get VTubers on too much. Uh, <laughs> why don't I let you do your little spiel again and uh, you send me who we're going to go raid and we'll just go raid them together. All right. Um. Oh, well, it looks like one of them. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. There they are. Uh, I was like, oh, did they me... just pop off? <laughs> no, it is. Uh, things changed. I said, I guess I'll go follow Cat. <laughs> 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 oh, well, thank you, Demon Queen Vivi. You're so kind for your <laughs> fucking follow. Um, so, for those of you who may not know who I am, or just what I do, allow me to go ahead and take a moment to introduce my insidious self. So, my name is Cabal, or you might just call me Cab if you'd like. And I am your favorite frightening caffeinated cultist and hooded horror host. I'm a horror VTuber here on Twitch.tv that specializes in all things spectacularly spooky to include menacing movies, terrifying TV shows, nightmarish novella, sinister stories, chilling creepypastas, and abominable art. I also talk about ter the terrifying topic of chilling content creation and play horror and survival games. So if you think that sounds insidiously interesting, well, make sure to tune in and all lock all your doors and windows because we're going to delve the depths of darkness. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, so uh, aside from that, I will be hosting D&D &D for Vertec and I and a friend on Monday night as the podcast stuff and we'll be back next friday with another guest and uh Kaval, thank you so much for joining us Bree, thank you so much for inviting me it was my petrifying pleasure <laughs> i am so excited to have had you on again and i hope that i see more of your ashes amazing creepy content and in general just continue to watch you grow so oh yeah well we're working on it and uh you know, as, <laughs> as more of ashes you know hits the uh hits the airwaves and comes to fruition you best bet that i'll be lurking in the shadows Ooh. well why don't you guys join us in lurking in the shadows as we go raid bloody esme oh uh <laughs> Me check my DMs or Cabal check his DMs? V. Z. Sorry, V. <laughs> <laughs> Cries. <laughs> Z Aww. just slide into them DMs. Right, right. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you all for joining us. We're going to go ahead and head it on over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got that. Then um, we're going to head on over and we're going to go give a spooky raid. I don't, I don't know. You're better at that stuff than I am. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>